Good morning. Hello. Guess what? It's yellow today. What are the frequencies, vibrations, properties, energies, possibilities with the color we know as yellow? Hi, Sean. So, get yourself ready. This is going to be interesting. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Pull energy down through the top of your head, through your body, out your feet and into the earth. Pull more energy than you've ever pulled before, dynamically. Really tsunami, tidal wave, huge pull energy through your body. Energy bodies, being, wiggle your toes, through you, into the earth. And allow the energy to stream through you as wide as you are willing to be. So if you will expand your energy out, you're actually pulling maybe 10,000 miles out through you. So all of the energy field surrounding you, not just your little tiny body, is receiving this energy, is dynamically pulling the energy. And it's a softening and an allowing and a relaxing while a dynamic pulling. And there's some really interesting astrological stuff going on on the planet right now, um, or with the planet right now. Very interesting energies happening politically in a God, Godzillion, trillion different ways. How did we get so lucky? Expand, expand, expand. Pull energy up through your body. You pull it through your feet, but you pull it energetically as well through your energy systems, everything else. Up and out, expand, expand, expand more. That means if you normally have your aura or energy field in tight, relax. Yes, you will be seen, but you know what? Most people will not even be able to perceive you once you allow yourself to open up your energy field. In a way, it's a bit like you're moving too fast for them. Hi, Claudia. Well, one of our big fears is always, I'll be noticed, I'll draw attention to myself. That hasn't ended well in the past, therefore I won't do it now. But in actual fact, it's a talent and a capacity to be seen when you desire to be seen and not noticed when you don't desire to be noticed. You do have that option. Expand, expand, expand. Have the energy of gold to begin with. So the energy that's already flowing through you, just turn it to gold. You don't have to search for gold energy in the universe and then bring that in. Just change the frequency of what you already have. Wow, pull energy from way out in front to you, through you. Pull energy from behind you. Everywhere that you've built a bar barrier behind you to energy coming through for whatever past event or reason, just move on through the barriers. You want to be able to receive energy from everywhere and everything. Let the gold energy go into all of your cells. Now turn the energy to yellow. It's simple as that. Just simple turn. What is the vibration and frequency of yellow? Don't go into thinking, analyzing, describing. Just have and be the frequency of yellow in all its different variations. A thousand, 
million variations of yellow. Notice where it triggers you. Notice where you might go, oh, I don't like yellow. That's fine. Expand that, explode that, uncreate and destroy that. All the times that yellow represented, well, what does it represent? Cowardice. A yellow coward. Yellow can be a bitter bile color, a vinegary color. It can be warmth, it can be sweetness, it can be golden. We've actually found um, with the energy flows uh, meditations that yellow is fabulous for the liver. It's got something to do with fat distribution in the body and the enzymes that break down fats in the body. So maybe you need more yellow. Maybe you could really use yellow. And yellow is one of those wonderfully um, strange colors that most people don't like um, or they won't wear yellow. I'm one of the lucky ones. Yellow loves me, I love yellow. Well, what is that? What is the vibration or tone of yellow? It has an association with sickness, I have to say. So explode all of those associations that do not allow you to have what's hidden and wonderful about yellow. Bananas are yellow. Pineapples can be yellow. Lemons, we have beautiful passion fruits again at the moment. Um, they're called Panama Gold, but they ripen to yellow on the outside, not black. Sunflowers are yellow. What's the encoded awareness information that comes with the light when it is yellow? Because it's the light bouncing off the thing that gives you, your eyes, the message of yellow. So you're receiving some kind of encoded information. What is the taste, touch, sound of yellow? If you could hear yellow. And then what if the senses as we know them are not supposed to be individual? What if our awareness is actually whole and spherical? This is where we talk about the thalamus has been divided up so we only have five separate senses. What if, as an infinite being, it's all a symphony of sound, sight, touch, smell, and more? What if there's more? What is the more? And you don't have to name it or define it or describe it. You can have it and be it. So maybe close your eyes and just be yellow. What are the energies that go with yellow? Is it happy? Is it turning towards the sun? Is it expansive? And all the different cultures that are in the world and that have been, all the different civilizations, will have different attributes and meaning to the different colors. So would you be willing to expand out so that you can have awareness of that but not be bound by it? In certain cultures, only certain people can wear certain colors. Wow, well, what's with that? Let that go.
Notice what yellow does for your nervous system. For your spinal cord, your brain, all the nerves, parasympathetic, sympathetic nervous system. What's yellow doing for your enzyme production? Wherever that occurs, you don't need to know. Is it a catalyst? Does it assist with the fat cells? What's the yellow doing for your liver or your... Ah. Gallbladder. Kidneys. Hmm. So is yellow the vibration of physical excretion in the body? And be aware that the body you have now is built to a certain specification, but you're not limited by that specification. Expand beyond that. Your body has amazing capacities for healing, youthening, generation. Allow the yellow to dissolve any inappropriate crystallization in your body. Now crystallization um, is like hardening up, stiffening up, calcifying. We know that can occur in the brain, um, in the pineal gland, but in the joints, joint stiffening. Okay, just allow the yellow energy to flow to every part of your body and if there is any kind of build up crystallization of inappropriate materials such as calcium, plaque, allow the yellow to work its magic. Yeah, because we've got lots of taboos about and shock and horror about yellow and the body. You know, it has a lot of um, connotations and a lot of connections with infection and a lot of very unpleasant things in the body. So don't, don't shrink back from it, walk into it, expand it. What is that? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so whatever comes up, don't shy away from it, don't try and change it, just expand it if it's unpleasant, uncomfortable, if it's painful. How much space can you be with that? How much space? Secret is uh, how we actually create and continually generate and create fresh in our body is that we pull the molecules together. So that is um, oh, what are the words? Demolecular manifestation. And then we destroy, which is molecular demanifestation. So we can have the capacity to bring what is required in, and then we have the capacity to destroy or take out what is no longer required or what's not needed. DMM, demolecular manifestation. 
that's bringing it in and molecular demanifestation, MDM. Creating and destroying. So if you're always generating your body fresh, there's always cells dying off. There's always a destruction. That's not wrong. So everywhere that you've somehow decided or learned or been told or assumed that destruction is wrong, it's a part of the magic of how we generate. You don't have to destroy, but it's the possibility that you can when it's required. It's very subtle. That's interesting that's come up today. So if you have a, um, a tumor, a cancer, a growth, you can take it out, you can destroy it. And if you want fresh young tissue, you can create it. And what if any healing that's required in your body is, could be so simple, quick and easy if we let go of all our points of view about it? So anything the yellow could be doing for you right now, anything that being yellow could be creating and generating or destroying and uncreating, expand out and allow it. Go beyond all your cultural conditioning, taboos, points of view. It's time to go beyond all of that. As an infinite being, the possibility is there for your body to be infinite too. Anything an infinite being has is also infinite. So what we're doing actually is exploring, letting go that anything that keeps you finite and stuck. Wow. Phew. Keep expanding, keep expanding, keep expanding. You know, yellow has this um, association with the chakra, you know, the solar plexus chakra. Don't get hung up on the chakras. It's a way of describing human bodies. You are not bound by that. As I've been saying, all of your energy bodies have a chakra or energy center, but how many would you like? There's hundreds. Don't get caught up in that. It isn't that each chakra is in charge of a color or has a color. The chakras have all colors running through them, all energies. So please release yourself from that particular limiting set of beliefs and points of views. Just, for, just do it for a week or two and then you can go back to it if it's sacred to you, but go beyond it. If there is something sticking you in your solar plexus right now because we're running yellow and you've had a hundred lifetimes of using the chakra system in Indian lifetimes or wherever just expand beyond that free up all the energy in your solar plexus just below your rib cage there would an infinite being need a chakra system. No. Well, it's just a cute way of describing things to people a long time ago and it's stuck. Expand, expand, expand. So for the next 24 hours, play with running ye yellow and being yellow. Play with every time you see something yellow, go, wow, what am I actually perceiving? What is this saying to me? What can I receive from it? What can I give to it? You little ray of sunshine, you walking around being yellow. <sighs> okay. Such fun, such fun. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.